Hi guys, Ethan here. So, uh, earlier today at church, I said that I would teach on more scriptures. This is one of them. By the way, we were at church yesterday, and there was an amazing service. Spencer, my, my friend, did a great job. Just uh, to you, Spencer, uh, we'll teach you on that message. You did a great job. Keep up the good work. So guys, let's take a look at John chapter 5, verse 18. There's an important scripture that really discusses, like always, what is going on in this world. So, okay, for this reason the Jews tried all the harder to kill him. Not only was he, was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his fa own father, making himself equal with God. When we try to do that, guys, we give the glory to ourselves. We don't try to please the Lord in any way. We don't, we're always thinking about ourselves when we give glory to ourselves, when we compare ourselves to God. Well, that, in fact, um, Dino said that anyone who tries to describe, can you describe Jesus? You can't, because he's indescribable. And no, not just like this, well, I mean, yeah, just the, the words in the song are true. He did, he is indescribable, he is totally unchangeable like he will never change his his loving ways he loves us no matter what no matter how many times we screwed up he still loves us that is the kind of God we serve and I'm so glad to be the kind of guy that teaches on that so guys um, there's been many who've been trying to be like God. And some people have taken the glory away from God. Take Moses, for example. When he struck the rock, Jesus told him to speak to the rock. But what did he do? But that wasn't even the worst of it. He didn't just disobey. He, um, he, you know, he took away from God. He said, shall, um, we shall bring water from the rock. No, Jesus is the one bringing the water from the rock. Moses was not the the cause of everything Jesus did. He was taking glory for, um, I mean, he was comparing himself to God. Shall we, meaning he and him. He's not as big as him, and he is not the one bringing water from the rock. Jesus is. And Satan, he had everything. He was Lucifer. He was second in command. And he lost everything because he tried to be like God. He was given glory to himself. I can be like God. Yeah, I I can. No, 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 no. You can't be like God. Nobody can. That's the point. So, guys, because of this, Jesus. Because if you if you take the glory away from God, Jesus. Don't be surprised if Jesus gets pissed off because he will many people have done it the people who built the tower of babel tried to reach heaven they were trying to be um they were trying to do the mighty thing trying to get to heaven themselves or at least do the the mightiest thing they could that's not mighty that's just uh, i don't know how to, anybody who thinks they can compare to god obviously is sadly mistaken be, I mean, like Moses, because of him, because he took the glory away from God, he lost his his place in the promised land. He lost the chance to go to the place that God promised him because of what he did. So, guys, I just want to let you know: don't take the glory away from God. Give the glory to God. Love Him because He is amazing. So, guys, this um, I'm going to teach you more scriptures. Please take what I said to heart, and remember, I'm just playing simple. I'm the guy instructing you to worship and pray. And when times get tough, praise God in the storm. And we are in extraordinary times. When extraordinary times are upon us, we need an extraordinary God.